So there were stories before about how 3,000 registered voters were added to Ferguson, but it appears that that was not the case. What happened? That is correct. That is not the case. Um, the Board of Elections uh, ran the wrong report uh, when we were looking at how to calculate the numbers that had registered. We actually used a summary report, which is a report that um, uh, monitors all the activity. It's an actual activity. It should be called an activity report, but uh, it, uh, it monitors all the activities of any registered voter already. So if you moved, if you changed your name, if you married, if you died, whatever, then that is a report that, that uh, calculates that number. That was the incorrect report that we used. And so uh, we called the Secretary of State's office. They sent us to the right report and helped us to get the numbers that were appropriate for the Ferguson registration. So, so did like more than 3,000 people like change their registration or died or got married in Ferguson since Michael Brown's shooting? Or was that just a completely wrong report that you read? No, it was not. There was some kind of activity that happened to those 3,200 people in the Ferguson area. So it was an accurate report for what it was supposed to be doing, but it was not the accurate report before the numbers that we needed. So basically the upshot is, since Michael Brown's shooting right now, only about 130 people have registered in Ferguson, or is it more than that? It's right, right around that at this particular time. Um, you know, Initially I thought that uh, the numbers were pretty bad, but it looks to me as if the majority of the people in Ferguson are already registered to vote. And so that means that these few that were added um, it did not really make that major a difference. The, the problem is that these folks that are already registered need to come out and vote. Registration is step one. Voting is step two. Is it possible that you may end up seeing an uptick with all the activity that's going on right now to register people, or is it just not going to materialize, basically? Well, I, I was thinking that it would be even more, but if you're looking at just Ferguson proper, now if you're looking at all of St. Louis County, we may have a significant uptick in that, but uh, as I said earlier, most of the people in Ferguson are already registered to vote. All right, thank you.